Hi, in this video, we look at the toolbar item and toolbar item group in Swift UI. We can use toolbar item to place controls in the navigational slots of a toolbar or the navigation bar. We have different slots, such as the leading part, the principal, that is the top center, or the navigation trailing, that is the top right. In this example, we add the toolbar modifier to the text that appears on the screen here. Inside the toolbar modifier, we can add the specified items we want to place in the navigation. We have buttons, text, and images in the toolbar. To place items in the toolbar, we use the toolbar item. You can see here, the first one is the button. Without specifying its position in the toolbar, it will be placed at the top center. To move it from the top center, we can pass a parameter to the toolbar item called placement and specify whether we want to put the icon on the leading, the principal, or the trailing side. So let's add it here and say we want the button to appear on the leading. So the chevron icon is now appearing at the leading part of the toolbar. We can copy the placement parameter and use it for the second button as well, which is the text 23. So now it also appears at the leading part of the toolbar. This is how you can use the toolbar item to place navigational items in the toolbar. In the next one, we have the placement at the principal, that is the top center of the screen. So here we have the image and the text that is placed in this VStack. Instead of using the toolbar item all the time, we can use toolbar item group for grouping some of the controls. So in the last example, you can see we have the toolbar item group and that contains the video icon and the phone icon. So instead of just using the toolbar item, we can use toolbar item group to group the related controls. So let's go back to our first example. Instead of saying toolbar item, we can use toolbar item group and place the two button in the same toolbar item group because they all appear at the leading section of the toolbar. What we need to specify is the placement parameter. So let's copy this one and say we want all the icons to appear at the leading section. We can now remove the first button and place it inside here and then remove the second button as well and place it below the first one. We don't need these two bar items, so we can select and delete them. So this is how you can use two bar item to add controls or navigational items in the two bar. If you like, you can also group them using the two bar item group as we did in this video. Thanks for watching this video.